Hey guys, this is Andrew. Um, I'm going to do another video tutorial. Uh, um, this one is going to be about um, rotoscoping using the roto brush tool. So first, I'm going to show you um, this. Now, as you can see, I am a Star Wars fan because once again, I'm doing something on Star Wars. Basically, um, this was a basically just a quick test. I was going to do a no chroma key, and then I was gonna add a lightsaber in there, but you know, we got around to doing that. So I just did the quick chroma key. Nah, not quick, I would say. So it's been about probably two hours doing this, and as you can see, it's very jaggedy, muffled, whatever you want to call it. It's very fluffy. <laughs> it doesn't look so good. Um, and I got all these, tweaked all these settings. You, know, you can take all these off, and boom, you got that, and you can add a couple in there, and you, as you can see, it, yeah, <laughs> everyone counts. So, <laughs> um, anyways, After Effects on their CS5 release, they released a tool called Rotobrush. Fantastic, awesome lead, super awesome tool for all you rotoscope artists out there. Um, very awesome to use. Um, so first, we'll start with this. Um, Make sure this is selected. Now you go into your layer of your footage layer. Let me zoom out real quick. And you'll have this, you see this tool. Now, quick things you do to zoom. Now I'm on a Mac, so you hit Command and then you click, um, left click, and you just scroll. And it zoom, makes it big, makes it real small, yada, yada, yada. So, and then, so normally, green means, you know, obviously add. As you can see, it has a plus tool, and then you just kind of do what you want, blah, blah, blah. So it adds it, and i got to zoom out a little bit more. <laughs> and you just kind of, basically, you just paint. It's real nice, real awesome tool. You paint around wherever you want it. So there, a couple seconds. Now, um, to minus stuff, you hit um, the Option or Alt key. Um, also... To zoom, I assume it's going to be control on a Windows. Um, control click on a Mac brings up this. So um, I assume it's going to be control. Um, I haven't used this on a Windows, so I can't say. Now to minus stuff, you hold the Alt on Windows or an Option key on a Mac. And you, you can paint, you can click, um, zoom in real tight, make your guy smaller. Um, no jokes there. <laughs> Uh, you just kind of paint, you know, make it, you know, so you you, you get around that. I think that's a little too small. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. You just kind of paint around and make sure you got some good stuff going. And um, Come on. I said minus. There you go. It doesn't want to do that. Come on, you know you want to. There you go. <laughs> I know, I talked to myself. Shut up. A uh, um, few things right there. I need to add a little bit on there. Probably minus this because I had some problems. I actually did this already, but my some reason it deleted the file. And I was like, what the frick? So, yeah, I'm doing this tutorial for the second time. Awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, so we're just getting through this. and Basically, you just... I forgot to hit the space bar. Minus that. And minus that. Awesome me, yeah. Hit the space bar this time. <laughs> and you just kind of go around your body or whatever you're, you're scoping out. And um, we've got this little ad right there. Um, looking pretty good. A little bit to minus. Just anywhere you need to minus or add. Uh, too much. There we go. Just kind of go around. Um, I know I had problems with this part earlier on my last one. So just add that. Oop, a little too much. There we go. Same with this. Yeah, just go around. Add what needs to be added. Subtract what needs to be tracked. So, yeah, that's done. I mean, that's what? One, two minutes to do that? That took. Why is it doing that? That took like two hours. Um, that looks pretty decent. I mean, and I'm going to tell you this right now. There's a lot of reflection because I was really close to the green screen. So that's part of the problem um, with that. 
So I'm not going to worry about that too much. I might go into it and um, you can do another one, another roto brush. Oops, I'm adding, not subtracting. You can do another one just for like color correction and let me just kind of see what I can do with this. Ew, I got an evil head. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Um, add this back. But you get the picture. I mean, it's very simple to do. Um, find the mats and you just tweak some settings and yada yada yada. Just pretty much simple stuff. You just tweak all the settings, make it look good. But yeah, a uh, couple minutes and you're you're good and. Um, you just add that onto there, go into here, and look, a couple minutes and I got pretty much the same exact um, thing that I did that took me about two hours, and it looks a lot better. So, I mean, there's stuff I need to refine around there, um, color correction, um, obviously you do another rotoscope for the lightsaber, but yeah, I mean, very simple, very quick to do, um, very easy, you know, I've seen some video Star Wars videos that I watched a couple years ago that had that did chroma key but they just use a regular digital video camera no HD just uh, the 720 by 480 stuff um, very low resolution and they had they brought some guys in to do the chroma key but um, they also had to do rotoscoping around the the head and every anywhere that that was touching the chroma key the chroma key chroma key they had to go through and rotoscope so they've spent a couple months, you know, working on that. And, I mean, there's a lot of footage, by the way. Um, but still, a couple months to do that. And if they had this tool, this would take uh, maybe a couple days to do what they did. Um, so, very awesome to do. Um, another thing is, um, I did try the lightsaber one time. Um, with, this, with this certain blade, it's tough. Um, because it is a reflective um, thing. I mean, it's carbon fiber, so it's a metal. It reflects very well. So you get a lot of issues with that. Another thing, it's very thin, um, so it um, Adobe After Effects has a tough time tracking it very precisely. Also, you'll have a very kind of wavy blade, not a nice um, straight edge. So really, you'd still have to go through and do a frame-by-frame -frame rotoscope for the lightsaber itself. But still, you're saving a lot of time. If you've got green screen and the lightsaber, you're saving months. Um, if you have, you know, a, a three-minute lightsaber fight, if you're doing it all yourself, you save yourself a ton of time, months, and a lot of, I'm going to say pissed off, because I know tedious work like this, I mean, you get really on edge when you're, just the littlest thing happens, and then something makes you mad, and then you're, ah, and then, then you need a break. <laughs> so this, I mean, that saves a lot of time. A lot of frustration, a lot of that kind of crap. So, really easy, very awesome to do. Um, a lot of quick stuff you can do. I mean, you can do this, you can see that. Um, just a lot of different things you can do. So, and oh, awesome. You toggle this, and you can see what you normally see in the composition. You can see where you need to fix stuff. And ah! <laughs> um, so, oh, right here, you can change. Oops this color you can change it darker and make it white whatever whatever you'd like to do um, also when you are done oh also before I forget this you page up and down just to go through because you know you're not just done now all of a sudden you still have to go through and you see mistakes and you go you can go through and you correct them and just the same way just bloop, minus that and you know minus up here and Nah, I'm not last minute, but <laughs> you get it. Um, you just go through any problems you have. Um, bring that back. Obviously, I'm having some issues right here with my nose being cut off completely. Um, but anyway, you get the picture. You got you go through a um, bunch of frames, and once you, once you get a lot, you know, probably maybe 10 frames and you fix a bunch of stuff, it, it learns, it realizes. Also, another help is to just minus all this kind of stuff out here. Um, it just helps it track better. Um, obviously, it gets a, 
a bigger tool would be helpful. Raw! <laughs> but you get the picture. You just go through and you minus stuff you don't need for probably a certain amount of frames, probably 10, 20 frames, and then it learns. And then it does a pretty good job. You still want to go through your whole project, make sure you got to play it through, uh, make sure it looks good. Um, obviously, that's kind of messed up right there. <laughs> but once you're done, you hit this freeze button. And then it goes through, it renders. I'm not going to render it because I don't want to sit here and do nothing. But once you freeze it, you can't, you can't edit it. You're done. Um, not completely. All you have to do if you want to go through and edit something, if you find something, you unfreeze. Well, you just hit the freeze button again. Then you can go through and you can do whatever you want and blah, blah, blah. So tweak settings, freeze it when you're done. You can unfreeze it if you want, if you need to do more stuff. A um, very awesome tool. I mean, it's a very spectacular tool. Obviously, that's I didn't really do anything. So um, let's go back to that. So I mean, it looks pretty good. But I mean, you compare these two. This one, I'm missing parts of me. Obviously, my shoulders missing, and very fuzzy, and pants are missing, and part of my head, and yada yada yada. You get that. It, this is a lot more crisp look, and um, just looks a lot better. Um, and it only took a couple minutes. So, as you can see, very quick. Um, at that, I think that's good to go. Um, um, please subscribe. I'm going to bring, start bringing more tutorials, not only in After Effects. I'm probably going to do some Premiere tutorials. Um, also, I do stuff in Autodesk Maya, so I might do some stuff in there. I'm not very good in there, but um, just some simple stuff, um, more basics. Um, maybe show off some projects I've done in the past and whatnot so um thanks for watching please like subscribe comment if you want more of this you know obviously comment like um if you don't like what i'm doing um, please tell me what you would like to see um anyways um please subscribe like comment um thanks for listening have an awesome star warsy green screeny rotor brushy day